astrology and other divinatory arts are not a replacement or substitute for physical or psychiatric health care. If this is an emergency situation or you are in crisis, please do not defer your wellness to readings or horoscopes. Seek situation-appropriate, qualified assistance instead. Hi there, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It's time to have a look and see what is going on when it comes to your weekly tarot forecast for the week starting December 12th, 2022. And just a quick reminder, if you are watching your rising sign forecast, remember your rising sign is giving you additional clarity as to how a great deal of your sun sign forecast is showing up. And your moon sign is giving you the less prominent, albeit still significant, side story that is also playing out throughout the course of the week. And should you ever wish to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. This week, your big spiritual theme or the big focus is the Two of Swords upright. So a lot of crossroads experiences, a lot of forking in the road going on. And with the Two of Swords, this is a period where a lot of you Scorpio people are going to be put at a space where we have to choose between a road that goes forward or a road that loops us back around and kind of has life on repeat. This can be difficult because depending on what you want, you may choose one or the other. You don't have to make up your mind this week, however. The Two of Swords is also indicating that a lot of things going on around you are going to be in flux. You should not be prematurely making commitments of any kind. However, with the Two of Swords, if you are in a space where a lot of these crossroads experiences come up, do not prematurely shoot them down either. They will not show you what their virtues are in full until we get to the end of the week. I do feel that with the Two of Swords upright, a lot of you are getting ready for a big launch or a big departure of some kind, but choosing the way you're going to do that, that's going to be figured out as we go through this week. When it comes to your material circumstances, your work, your job, your finances, practical affairs as it relates to your home and family life, you do have the tower upright. So here is one of those big tumultuous moments or big road changing events. With the tower, we do see a massive demolition taking place. It is the end of an era. This could be something going on on the job or off the job possibly even something going on with your whole industry or your whole market. With the Tower card upright, we see the elimination of something that cannot grow anymore. It has hit the end of the line, or maybe it even hit the end of the line a long time ago, and it has just been maybe kept going, and it's been costing us. It's been taking time, energy, and money to be propped up, even though it needs to be released. Sometimes this can turn our world upside down. And yes, it's possible that there will be a lot of dramas taking place in all areas of work, finance, and maybe even some family matters, living situation matters. However, I do want to remind you that sometimes the tower can be extremely positive because you can have your world turned upside down by getting a good promotion you have to change everything for. You can have your world turned upside down by getting a new job that forces you to acclimate to a new schedule in the way you handle things at home. You could have your world turned upside down by a glorious move or relocation if that is what you are trying to do, but you have to do it very quickly or in a hurry. Let yourself take this moment by moment, but do not put yourself in a position where you feel like you have to hold on to the old because you won't be able to. When it comes to your community, friends, relatives, and other people in your life, you have the Nine of Pentacles reversed. And this week, it may become apparent that an associate, an ally, or maybe a business partner, maybe even a client or a customer, or again, possibly a family member, is not all they're cracked up to be. And you may be getting taken advantage of in some way. The Nine of Pentacles reversed can indicate somebody possibly riding our coattails, shortchanging us, or maybe even taking credit for things that we do, underpaying us, undercompensating us in some way, or maybe an investment that we have made in them is just not paying off and it's not giving back in a fair exchange. And you're going to need to be able to rebalance the situation or let this person or this situation go. When it comes to your challenge this week, you've got the Ten of Cups reversed. Don't pretend everything's wonderful when it's not wonderful. <laughs> Don't trust people 
who pretend everything's wonderful when it's not wonderful, right? The whole world is addicted to face tuning and photoshopping everything. And everyone is just so toxic and I disown them all for it. That being said, with the Ten of Cups reversed, there are going to be moments here where you may be tempted to look and see where things are not so bad. Start bargaining, maybe overstate the, um, let's just say, positive nature of things that are very negative. You know, the Ten of Cups reversed, I call it the Stepford card. Things that work really, really hard to look and sound perfect on the outside to misdirect attention from what is really effing wrong on the inside. You are going to need to be discerning and own responsibility for not letting yourself help that kind of manipulation go on. And don't manipulate yourself either. That's gaslighting yourself, honestly, at the end of the day. When it comes to your relationships with love, romance, and partnerships, you've got the Hierophant card reversed. And this week, with the Hierophant card reversed, there is a changing of paths as well. Now, the Hierophant reversed, for those of you who are coupled or are married, is indicating that a partner is going through a massive shift in their priorities as far as what they want for their own their own future and i feel like they are abandoning a lot of maybe edicts disciplines or uh, possibly even traditions things that they have kind of held up for a very very long time but i feel like this is something that you want for them i feel like this is something where you're like you know that the way that they've been carrying on or the way that they have been trying to make it work with that, the way that they have been trying to see it through, however it goes, has been doing more harm to them and maybe by extension you and the rest of your family. And this is going to be a freeing moment. They get out of some kind of trap that they thought they had to polish, which is going to be wonderful for you, wonderful for the relationship and everyone around it. For those of you who are currently... Uh, single or are available, the Hierophant card reversed is indicating that you will have an opportunity at love by getting out of a bubble that you have been trying to make it work in. Now, this could be uh, you switching to entertain other types you are compatible with, right? We have three different types in our astrology chart. Some people have five different types in their astrology chart. It's just that some people just kind of stop at one and then, you know, glass ceiling. Some of you may be finding that with the Hierophant card reversed, you are finding love outside of familiar community, which is good, right? Don't look for love in an echo chamber. That's stupid. You are going to find that there is something very spicy coming to your love life, whether you are single or you are coupled. So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever want to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com.